What a, what a night we have on Saturday. Like, what a great night we have coming up in two weeks. A lot to look forward to. A lot of good fights um, on this fight night. Absolutely. I completely agree. And I think that brings us up to the next fight we have here on the card, which is going to be another banger here. It's going to be Manuel Kett versus Zalgis Zomogov. He, uh, I don't know if you knew about a lot about this guy, but Zalgis, I remember him from... Uh, I can't remember the organization off the top of my head, but this guy was doing some crazy phenomenal stuff. He's a smaller guy, right? But he's very athletic, very heavy hitting. Um, comes to the UFC, kind of has a little bit of a, almost like a bump in the road. You know, he took two losses in the UFC, but he fought a really good uh, guy in Rulin Paiva, who's going to take on Sean O'Malley here in the next few weeks. Um, I like him a lot in this fight, man. I think he's going to be one of those guys that I don't know if he's gonna get a title shot necessarily, but I think he can be one of those like gatekeepers in a sense where he goes pretty high up, tough fight that no one's gonna want to go through to get to the title. Um, I see him beating uh, I see him beating Manuel and I, I Manel, and I think he can beat him by uh, I think this is a decision as well in my opinion. How do you feel about this fight? It's that organization he was in was called uh, Fight Night Global. I didn't even really know much about him to be honest with you. And when I watched his highlights, I was upset that I didn't know this kid. This kid is, bro, he's explosive. He's strong, he's aggressive. Um, his boxing, not as tight though. I mean, now his boxing is, is a lot more more crisp, I think. Um, yeah. So if we do stand-up wise, this one is kind of, this one's kind of, even to me, like they're, they're, they can both win. I understand that Manel is the favorite. They can both win. Um, but the thing about Zagos, he also, I noticed he leaves his head down a lot. So when he goes for those punches, right, he's throwing those accurate style softball pitches. Like he just like softball, but they're, they're wild, but they're accurate. They still land somehow. But when he does that, he's always leaving his head down. He's always going down. So he's always putting his head down. And I, with Manel's last flying knee, I mean, you don't know what this kid can do. Like, if he puts his head down and Manel catches it, he's got good fight IQ. You know, he can catch on to it and then boom, just maybe do another knee. Maybe he wants another knockout. That's what I think. I think he's going to come in and try to get a highlight, try to get a highlight reel. I think it's a close fight, though, like you said. Um, but don't be surprised if Manel pulls off the win in this oh. one as well. Because, I mean, he's explosive. He's really good. And, I mean, he definitely... This definitely has the potential to be a really interesting fight going into uh, going into Saturday here. And he, his takedown defense is, although it's it's eighty percent, it's eighty percent on the stats, on the UFC mm. stats, eighty percent takedown defense. But I notice he struggles with the wrestlers, like against that guy Nikolau. He struggles mm. against those wrestlers and it kind of slows him down. So that's what wor worries me about that. I think it's going to be a technical battle. That's what I wrote down yeah. my notes. See, technical battle. Oh no, man, this is it's a tough fight to call. This it's is tough. one of those ones that you kind of want to stay away from if you're going to bet on it. But do you feel I like Zagas might be more well rounded? I think Zagas has a little bit more. I think he's a little bit more in the wrestling department. Um, a little more tools. Striking wise, I think Manuel is a little bit better, but not by much. And then wrestling, I think Zagas is better. And typically in fights that are like that, or like where I think at least they're going to go the distance, I feel like the wrestler kind of has the edge. Um, because you can kind of sneak a takedown right. in there in the round. Kind of oh, get that advantage, one, but... to win it, right? That's good. Yeah, that's good. So um, it'll be a close fight. We'll see. Hey man, last um, week you you predicted the the Hani Yaya fight and it went exactly the way you said it was gonna go, and I said it was calm. So you might be honest. Yeah.